Welcome, Welcome to, to Grape, Grape Barn, Barn Brewery. Brewery. We are looking for a way to keep the farm. We were home brewers, we're like, oh, we could do a brewery, it would be great. It was a lot harder than we had thought. It's barley. It's right there. Right there on this field. It moved no more than 60 feet. There really was not a farm brewery, it didn't exist. This is the first farm to table brewery I've ever worked on. You really feel that pride when you get it right. We did our first brew here in February of 2016. From farm to glass. We have probably 38 total. Easy Acres IPA. Wow. We have IPS, we have lagers. Pilsners are the most popular one. Made with our own farm grown malt. We're making anywhere from 250 to 500 gallons a week. People really do support and believe in farm to table. You have to have a certain amount of passion to do it. We have 120 acres. This is the house. I grew up here. The 1755 house. This property used to be part of the Durham Iron Works. During the Revolutionary War, this was part of the effort to make cannonballs. Washington, we know he went through Kittnersville. We know he was here. It's cool. It became a farm in 1806, and uh, it's been a farm ever since. This was the original barn they built around the late 1700s. The new barn. That's the brewery. Oh, smells great. This is the fermentation area. Back in the day, it was a goat barn. This was the milking room for the goats. That's from the original milking system. It was a bomatic. I was just a kid running around going, what are you doing, Dad? Oh, he's building a huge barn. He built the place, and he really didn't want to lose it. When we came up with an idea to save it, he was definitely all for it. Being a farm anytime now is, is just hard to make any kind of money. We have a lot of farms around here that are just not making it and they're going up for sale. Never be a farm again. When they passed the laws in 2015 that let you more easily start a brewery, it uh, kind of saved us. Kind of an epitome of our life. You get two small kids and you got no cash. And it ties into the goat barn. A little play on history. We try to tie some of our names into that with the different beers. Where the Delaware am I IPA? We have a spring fed well. So it's nice, clean, definitely no chemicals. You have to have good quality water or else you're not going to have good quality beer. Growing it, brewing it, so only right here. This is Beer Barian. It's a sati. It comes from a thousand year old Viking recipe. Apparently the Vikings did not have hops, so they used juniper instead of hops. And they all come from the farm. Cheers. We opened up the New Hope Tap Room in okay. August of 2017. So we had 18 taps there. In the middle of the pandemic, we got the brilliant idea to take on an 8,000 square foot restaurant. We have 26 on tap right now at the Warrington location. It's barbecue. We built a 22 foot stage, so we call it beer, bands, and barbecue. We've grown well over a million pounds of barley over the years. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Save the family farm. That's the goal. It's unique. It's challenging. It's got its moments. We got the skills. We got the passion. We love it. 